welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic. I'm on the 720 at 60, so I'm not quite sure what you're getting. More home redecorating. This mass of stuff may or may not fit in a bookcase. <laughs> Figured why get a fancy one for inside the workshop. Because I slightly tilt. <sighs> So that is my project for today. Right now, Indian noms. I'm figuring out where I'm going to shuffle everything. <laughs> Stay tuned! I have now refound wall. I'm probably going to have to take that down. It's a five shelf system, 72 inches. I'm five something. Enjoy the wall while you see it. <sighs> I don't want to take that down. I need a place else to put it. I could put it there. <sighs> if we could just knock down a wall, you know, add on a whole other building, this would be so much easier. Mm -hmm. On to phase two. And I have to assemble that in this big of a space. I like challenges. It is precariously finished. <laughs> the Chinese should be forced to build things by their own directions. But I used all the pieces. Except I could have used a couple more shelves because a lot of these are too big. Because that's a lot of space. And it's as far back as I can get it. I've uncovered a spare one of these since that fits. Mm. Gosh, gee whiz. Mm, not quite sure how to organize now. <laughs> and I might be able to fit goodies up there. So this, and that's my kit I built. He needs a beautiful dusting. Mm, we'll have to maybe just sit up on top. I think I won't be able to see him too well. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And yes, this stuff came from Walmart. So I don't know if IKEA stuff has better directions. I have no idea. At last finished and organized. Ish. At least I can put my lamp someplace I don't need it. <laughs> Move some things over like my sculpt purse equipment and my paint stuff. So it's readily available. And I actually have space. A space without stuff that I'm working on right now. Card holders. Dun -da -da -da. Mm. My reward for hard work. Oh, oh, and I moved. You can't quite see glass. I had my mason jars buried way over yonder. So now I put my purses there. So I can build up in my sleeves that are tights. I can find now. That wasn't exactly supposed to be, you know, sort of clothes thing, but that's kind of what it turned out to be. Uh, I'm pretty much finished. Reopened my desky poo. That's me in Second Life. Say hi. And I think I am finished. And I am now going to chill. And I'm hoping that doesn't fall over. <laughs> I did try to make things... Um... Because it's supposed to be like... How did I put it now? Oh, the very bottom near the floor is supposed to hold 50 pounds. That's supposed to be like 30. The next one up that kind of sits on top of things is supposed to be like 50. So, yeah. So I try to keep the high, heavier stuff on the bottom. Um, but I think I'm good. 
we'll know when, this, when the things start going like this. Then you just turn them around so they straighten out again. From here they look like they're going yeah. already. My ears popping. I don't know if I should do the outro again or not. Mm. Thank you for watching. Do comment if you've had any uh, interesting stories about putting Walmart assemble your own stuff furniture together. <laughs> it's always an adventure, especially when you have no room to do so. But I managed. Thank you for watching, which I just said. Do give a thumbs up for do-it-yourself furniture and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. Bye.